okay so here in this video we have to we have to develop 5 cross 32 decoder by using the 2 cross 4 decoder and 3 cross 8 decoder okay so first we draw a diagram for 5 cross 32 decoder this one is the diagram 5 cross 32 decoder okay in this decoder there are 5 inputs we represent it as a b c d e and accordingly we will find out total 31 out uh, total 32 outputs so it is started from d0 then d1 then d2 and so on up to d31 okay so we have to we have to design this 5 cross 32 decoder by using the 3 cross 8 and 2 cross 4 decoder okay so in these two decoders in these two decoders uh, first we will see this 3 cross 8 decoder has a higher output as compared to 2 cross 4 decoder so it is easier for the design so it is easier if we use 3 cross 8 decoder to design this 5 cross 32 decoder so how much how many 3 cross 8 decoder is used for this selection for this selection we will check the output of the decoder okay such as here the output is 8 so how many 8s are added how many 8s are added to form 32 how many 8s are added to form 32 how many 8s are added to form 32 it means that if we add 8 4 times then we will get 32 okay it means that when we design so at that time when we design so at that time we will use we will use 3 cross 8 decoder 4 times okay so this one is our this one is our first 3 cross 8 decoder this one is our second 3 cross 8 decoder this one is our third 3 cross 8 decoder and this one is our last 3 cross 8 decoder okay in these dec in this decoder there are eight outputs starting from d0 to d7 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 and d0 to d7 okay it means that first encoder provides eight outputs second one also provide eight outputs third one also provide eight output and similar the fourth one also similar the fourth one also okay it means that when we when we use four three cross eight decoder so we will we, we will directly get 32 outputs okay so when we are not connecting these encoder so at that time we will write output as d0 to d7 but when we connect these encoder when we connect these encoder so at that time the output of second encoder the output of second encoder is started after the output of first encoder okay how it works now all of all these out all these encoders have three output three inputs so i am representing it as three inputs okay so i am representing it as three inputs so this one is our this one is our first stage we can say this one is our stage one okay from stage one we uh, we will find out 32 outputs but here there are 12 inputs okay now we have to convert this 12 inputs into three inputs 
so for this purpose we will connect we will connect first input of first encoder with the first input of second encoder same as we apply procedure here okay same condition will applied for the second input also okay and the same condition will apply for the third input also okay so from here from here and from here if we provide any input so it will be dot automatically inserted to every encoder okay in stage one if i if i represent a b c d e if i represent a b c d e inputs into truth table if i represent a b c in a b c d e into truth table so at that time this c d e is the lsb bits and this a b is the msb bits okay so always in stage one the uh, we will uh, we will select the lsb bit okay if we take the input as a b c d e so at that time we will take a b c as the input of first stage okay so always in the first stage we will take the lsb okay so here if we uh, if we take uh, if we take this combination in truth table if we take this combination in truth table a b c d e so at that time we will take it as c we will take it as a b c these are the inputs because here we are considering the a b c are the lsb okay is it fine now how many inputs are remaining two more inputs are remaining that is d and e two more inputs are remaining that is d and e for this we will take another two cross four decoder we will take another two cross four decoder here in this two cross four decoder there are two inputs these are d and e okay accordingly we will find out total four outputs and these four outputs will act as a these four outputs will act as a enable pin or we can say this act as a selection pin for these all encoders okay okay this one for the last encoder so how it works how it works how it works how it works now this one is d e c b a so here input combination is started from 0 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 0 1 0 then 0 0 then 0 0 0 1 1 and so on up to 1 1 1 1 1 according to these inputs we will get 32 outputs that is started from d0 d1 d2 and so on and so on up to d31 okay so when we provide 0 0 0 0 0 at that time this d0 bit will be 1 and all other inputs all other inputs will be 0 when we provide 0 0 0 0 1 at that time all other outputs are 0 except d1 similar case when we provide the uh, when we provide 0 0 0 1 0 it means that it is the binary form of 2 at that time this d2 will be 1 and all other output combination will be 0 is it clear to all of you is it clear to all of you now how it works it means that when we put when we put d and e equals to 0 when we put d and e equals to 0 when we put d equals to 0 when we put d and e wait a while wait a while okay when we put this d and e when we put this d and e equals to 0 0 0 at that time which output pin will be active 
this output pin will be active it means that we will get output as 1 we will get output as 1 0 0 0 okay so this 0 will connect it to second this 0 will connect it in the third this 0 will connect it in the fourth only this one is connected to the first so when this one is connected with the first encoder first encoder so it enable it enable the first encoder it enable the first encoder and all other are not enabled so when only fun, first one is enabled so this abc this abc according to this abc only this first one will provide the output all other gets the input simultaneously all other gets the input simultaneously but only the first one will provide the output because only this one is enabled okay same as when we provide first combination 0 0 0 0 0 so accordingly this d and e equals to 0 first one will be active and for this 0 0 0 for the lsb 0 0 0 the d 0th pin the d 0th pin will be active and we will get output in from the d 0 pin except all others okay similar case we will see in the other other input combination also suppose i will provide the input combination as this one 0 0 0 1 0 so because the first input is the 0 because the first input is that 0 that is d and e equals to 0 because d and e equals to 0 so at that time first one will a first pin will be active and all other will be 0 so because all other are 0 so second third and fourth encoder uh, encoder is not in the active stage only first one is the in active stage so only first one will be work is and when the when the input is 0 1 0 when the abc is 0 1 0 when the abc is 0 1 0 when we provide here 0 1 0 so accordingly accordingly this dz d2 pin accordingly this d2 pin will be 1 and all other will be 0 at that time okay i think you all of you understand this topic how to convert this 5 cross 32 uh, how to convert uh, how to implement 5 cross 32 decoder using 2 cross 4 and 3 cross 8 decoder. I am explaining this function again. To design any high output decoder by using low output decoder, first we check how many low output decoders is combined to form the high output decoder. So from this we will see when we ate 8 4 times then we will get 32 it means that 3 cross 4 3 cross 8 decoder will be used 4 time okay so uh, we have we have drawn 3 cross 8 decoder 4 time and uh, we have we have find that total 32 output in the output side but uh, here there are 12 inputs because each uh, each encoder is having 3 inputs so overall 12 inputs are there so we uh, we have common all the inputs and this one is our stage one this one is our stage one so in stage one the input will be lsb okay that's why i have taken here abc okay now we have one more decoder we have one more decoder in the designing that is two cross four decoder so i have taken two cross four decoder and in this two cross four decoder the input is msb that is most significant bit okay so when we provide d and e here so accordingly the output will be act as a enable pin for all other encoder okay so this one is all about the designing of 5 cross 32 decoder thank you so much